in this video I compare a Yosemite bowline with a double bowline. Here in the orange rope I'm tying a Yosemite bowline so I start off with a simple bowline then an extra wrap around the first loop and then that tail gets tucked up the back side of the loop. The difference on a double bowline is there's two original loops. As you can see here you start with two loops and the tail goes up through both of them around the back then back down through both of them, both of those loops. It can be finished off by simply tucking the tail straight back up the back. So then comparing them side by side, from the front they do look identical. From behind there's a slight difference. Look closely at the image and you can see where the differences lie. If the Yosemite bowline is tied very small, that loop that is only attached to the tail can sometimes be confused for the actual secure loop and if the climber attaches to that tail loop the knot will completely fail. The tail will pull out and the climber will fall. I've seen this happen. However, with the double bowline there is no chance of the loop being confused as a tie-in point. Here I'm trying to do it, it's, it's near impossible and even if someone did connect to an incorrect part of the knot, it actually can't fail. One method to back up either knot is to tie a half a fisherman's knot on the tail, on the running part of the rope, or is it the standing part of the rope? Tell me in the comments below. Anyway, so just tie the knot in the usual manner with a extra long tail and then you tie around the rope with the tail half a fisherman's knot. This way, if someone were to accidentally tie into the wrong part of the Yosemite bowline, then it would just pull, the knot would slide down and that stopper knot would catch on the other parts of the knot, as in this demonstration. You may also like to tie a stopper knot in the same way, half a fisherman's knot, on the double bowline. Even though the double bowline is highly unlikely to fail on its own, a bit of extra peace of mind. So in summary, I don't recommend the Yosemite bowline, but if you are going to use it, I recommend, I highly recommend, that you always use a stopper knot and don't tie the loop too small that could cause any confusion. I do recommend the double bowline. It's stronger, it's safer, it's just as easy to tie and it can be used with or without a stopper knot. But just to be safe, tie a stopper knot. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. See you next time and take care out there.